All right, we're back on the road again in our 2005 Dodge Ram. Uh, we're headed east on Highway 58. About ready to head up into the Tehachapi Mountains. We got a 10,000 pound trailer on the back and a few hundred pounds of firewood in the uh, in the bed of the truck. We'll see how it does going up the pass. All right, so here we are. It's uh, the first climbing section of the the pass. And we got the cruise set at uh, 65 miles an hour. And no kick down. We uh, managed to make it up that without downshifting. So I'm going to click over on uh, the Smarty Touch here. I'm going to click over to my towing screen that has EGTs, boost, uh, transmission temperature, and it has the uh, the fan uh, percentage that it's supposed to kick on, and also the engine coolant temperature. Uh, here we are headed up uh, another pretty steep section. And we're watching the EGTs climb out. I'm running about a uh, 400 uh, horsepower tune. The tune is a custom tune built for uh, towing. Uh, it's based off of about a 400 uh, horsepower tune. So here we are, we're, EGTs are uh, topped out at about 1186 there and we're holding 65 miles an hour heading up, uh, up the Cajon Pass. that I uh, changed on that tune uh, when I modified it was I set the uh, torque management a little bit lower than stock and that's good for towing because it starts when you start off at like a stoplight or a stop sign or something it won't let your engine go to full power so it's easier on the transmission while you're towing and also it seems to uh, help kick down sooner when you're going up a pass like this uh, sometimes with a higher horsepower tunes uh, if the torque management is set to allow too much torque it seems like it doesn't want to kick down and it will run your it'll, it'll run your EGTs all the way up to about a uh, 400 or 1400 well over that in some cases there we go we hit a uh, third and third torque converter lockup That's only because we had to slow down uh, to pass that truck. We had to wait for some traffic coming in the left lane to get over. So now that we've done that, uh, with this tune, it probably will not shift up into fourth gear until we hit a nice flat uh, section, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It keeps the EGTs pretty low. So there, we just hit the top of that little hill and it just downshifted again, uh, went back into fourth gear. And we got uh, another uphill section coming up here. Try and get some speed up before we hit it so we don't lug. about the EGTs too much unless they cross about 12 or 1250. Uh, My pyrometer is uh, before the turbo. So I know some guys put it after the turbo and uh, you kind of have to take those numbers into account because you lose some heat in the turbo. So what you see on the pyrometer in that case is a little bit cooler than what your turbo is seeing. up the mountain here and you can see we keep hitting these 55 mile an hour turns which are really kind of uh, messing up my universe and slowing us down.
a trailer, obviously, you can go through these turns a lot, uh, a lot faster, but with a high center of gravity trailer in the back, you got to be a little extra careful there.
buttons you can uh, you can fix that little glitch all right so we're just coming to the top of the pass here uh, got to Hatchapi the town of coming up here